To discuss what to expect from the numbers, we turn to Paul Adonato. He's senior analyst at BMO Capital Markets, and he's joining us from his firm's trading floor camera. So, Paul, we have the cap mark news. We have a lot, what has been a lot of negative news on commercial real estate. So what are you looking for from these REITs? Just more negative numbers? Uh, yeah, basically, we still expect the fundamentals for commercial real estate to be quite negative, probably for the next uh, anywhere from two to four quarters at least. So the fundamental outlook is, is not good at all for commercial real estate. Now talk to me about commercial real estate versus what we have seen in the residential market. There, there are some very early signs of at least stabilization. We saw commercial sort of lagging going into the downturn. It seems like the same thing's going to happen for the recovery. Uh, probably, uh, just because the cycles are not in complete uh, sync, if you will. Um, we, we, we do expect that uh, commercial real estate will follow a different trajectory. That is, we don't expect the tremendous losses uh, that are occurring on the, on the single-family residential side uh, to necessarily spill over into all sectors of uh, commercial real estate. Uh, for one thing, uh, there is no such thing as a negative uh, amortization uh, mortgage uh, uh, loan in the commercial real estate space. So some of the excesses that the uh, single-family residential market has uh, suffered through uh, are really not in the cards for commercial real estate. That's not to say that everything is rosy for commercial real estate, though. Well, the stocks have come back somewhat. We've seen the group rise in the neighborhood of 10 to 15 percent for the year to date. Um, do you think that as people sort of look again and say, well, things might not be that terrible, as you were just talking about, are the stocks going to come back more? Uh, we don't necessarily think so. Uh, although the stocks are up uh, 10 to 15 percent year to date, uh, that really masks uh, the huge dip that they had uh, early in the year and then the very massive recovery that they had uh, since uh, 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 March of this year. So, you know, it, it is uh, slightly up for the year, but it, uh, you know, there's really a Grand Canyon uh, uh, effect uh, uh, during 2009. Uh, so at this point, we feel that the stocks have recovered to a level that we feel is fair overall. That is, reflects both the positive news, and that is that all of the uh, REITs, the commercial REITs, uh, uh, have access to the capital markets once again, both in, uh, in uh, terms of being able to raise debt as well as equity. Uh, in terms of the negatives, as I mentioned, uh, we think it also reflects uh, the re realization that the fundamentals are not likely to recover for at least another 6 to 12 months, depending on the specific property type. Paul, with the capital markets opening back up, does that mean that we likely won't see many more bankruptcies? I mean, you have Capmark, which is in the finance space, but you also had general growth. You had Extended Stay, which is a hotel company. Right. Do you think there are more to come? Uh, you know, possibly, but uh, probably not likely. You know, we track about uh, 99 uh, equity REITs in our universe, and uh, as you mentioned, only one of them, general growth, uh, which, uh, you know, by uh, just about anyone's estimation would be considered a special case, uh, has declared bankruptcy. And so we don't, we don't expect that there'll be a, a wave uh, more to come, although any you know, there, there might be uh, one or two uh, in the wings, who knows. Now, general growth, of course, retail, and when you look at the REIT universe, they're not all created equal. You've got them in different sub-industries, even yes. within the commercial market. So yes. are some going to fare better than others? Uh, yes, we do uh, think that there will be a difference in the recovery of the, the various sectors. There are two sectors that we do like. The first is industrial. Uh, we like industrial because the property cycle is much shorter in duration. Also, industrial space uh, tends not to be as overbuilt as some other property types. Also, if we look at the drivers for industrial, it's basically inventories and uh, international trade. Uh, most economists agree that inventories are at pretty low levels and that we have to start rebuilding inventories uh, very soon or else there'll be a lot of empty store shelves. Mm -hmm. So that would be a positive catalyst. Okay. The other thing, international trade is also at historically low levels. We also think that, you know, just pockets of strength plus a weak dollar policy uh -huh. could help spur some international trade once again. Okay, Paul. Paul Adonato of BMO Capital Markets talking to us about REITs. Thanks very much.